We actually rent our hives to farmers and our bees actually pollinate and make it so almonds can be produced. Almonds are 100% dependent on honeybee pollination. But sadly, people have gotten more into theft because the business and the industry has grown so much and people think they can make a quick, easy buck by stealing hives and putting them into pollination. Sadly, beekeepers are the other ones, are the only people stealing bees from other beekeepers. Um, you have to have specialized equipment. Um, it's not something that's a random act. It's very calculated. Because what they'll do is they'll steal a whole hive, but they'll pull the frames and they'll put it into their own boxes. So if you drive by the field, you see their name on the, on the um, box, but it'll be someone else's frames and bees inside the box. It's a felony. Um, for instance, our victim a couple weeks ago, they lost over $150,000 worth of bees. <laughs> I mean, it's very difficult for professional beekeepers like us to keep our hives alive, and it's become increasingly difficult, which makes the theft even more uh, catastrophic to our industry. I mean, it takes us over a year to build a healthy hive. And so when it's stolen from us, it's not something we can easily replace. Definitely are in this business because we love the bees. It's a family business, it's a lifestyle. And when these hives are stolen from us, it feels like you know, a direct violation of our trust. And it makes us just really sad. It's, it's something that we, you know, we haven't slept. Even though we recovered our hives, this is something that has just really shook us.